Hey Virgos, this is for Virgos who are dealing with a Pisces for the month of August 2022. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. Let's get it, Virgos. Coming in with the strength card, eight of wands, and the five of cups. This person is coming in quick for you guys, Virgos. That's the knight of swords in reverse. Like they're coming in really, really fast. This is the type of person who lives a very luxurious type of lifestyle, or they like the finer things in life. Somebody who likes to have fast cars. They're like somebody here always is wearing like Air Forces. They're always wearing Jordans, Virgos. With the knights. they always got the finer things in life here, Virgos. All right, somebody here spends that that money on on the. They say classics. They always got some sort of classics on or some shit. At the end of the day, they're going to come in with this four of wands, ace of wands, nine of swords in reverse, the strength card. This person is is reaching up their ambition to come towards you. They want this opportunity here with you with the ace of wands. So a lot of you guys might be getting yourselves into a, a relationship with somebody here, okay? Virgos with the Pisces to the Virgos. So this person's coming in quickly. They're going to become communicating to you uh, with the eight of wands, nine of pentacles. Some of you guys were wondering, oh, am I ever going to get married? Am I ever going to be in a relationship? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like the time is coming in for a lot of you guys, uh, Virgos. But I mean, at the end of the day, you have no problem being single. Some of you guys may have been single for a pretty long time. I would say about four months, four years, one year, and also nine years. And also uh, a, 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 since August of last year is what they're saying. Something that happened towards you guys. What happened to you guys, Virgos, on August 11th? What happened? Do you guys know? Whatever had happened on August 11th, that, that that probably fucked you guys up a little bit or around that time frame. But at the end of the day, you guys got the higher friend to the wheel of fortune there. You guys are going to be staying connected to divination. When this person reaches back out to you guys with the eight of wands, you guys just like, it's like you guys are asking the angels and God for a blessing. But that blessing is rightfully yours. This cycle is going to be coming in for you guys, Virgos, as well, because... This person is going to be reaching back out to you, wanting to make sure that they have you again. They don't want to lose you. They, this is not something that they want to lose. Uh, you being the Nine of Pentacles, you're single, you're happy, but at the same time, you do want marriage. You want a fulfillment that's going to come towards you guys as well. A lot of sadness, Virgos. Never be sad or regretful for the things that you guys may have done in your past. Let it go. Release it. Everybody is human and everybody makes mistakes. It is what it is. Um, but this person is coming in. They want a relationship with you with the Ten of Cups, Six of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. A lot of you guys are always staying silent about what it is that you guys want in relationships. You're not to be telling, any, oh, what are you looking for in a man? Why? So you can pretend to be that person for a couple fucking days? Fuck out of here. <laughs> High Priestess Virgos, you guys act very fucking mysterious. And you guys are always so quiet, but you hold a lot of secrets within within you. Uh, especially all the stuff that you guys have been through and the things that you've done. A lot of you guys give much more than being able to receive. But you honestly do want something that's going to be able to reciprocate that energy and for you to get back in return too. Not always you guys just giving, giving, giving. Because you guys are so connected and and, and with the High pre, right? You, you want to make sure that whoopsies <laughs> whoopsies <laughs> oh god well, i almost went down virgos <laughs> i almost went down all right so you guys are just always so quiet virgos but i want you guys to know that the scales will be balanced out for you guys and and even though you might not say like oh i want this i want that i want that whatever this person will be able to spoil you with the six of pentacles as well all right there could be somebody from your past uh here <sighs> not your pisces somebody else from your past actually no yeah, if you guys are in a relationship with a Pisces or married to a Pisces, there could have been a, somebody from your past who's still messing you and still thinking about you. Boom, done. Don't get into it. Just because they miss the Virgos or they miss the, the ex or whatever the fucking what, don't start jumping off your fucking horse and being like, who, which ex of yours is fucking missing? The fuck, the nobody knows at the end of the day. This person's irrelevant. They're from the past. Don't be fucking causing problems for no reason, Virgos. Like, please, use your discernment. Yes. Use your discernment. Also, Virgos, there could be a Pisces from the past who is nostalgic and thinking about you quite a bit now with the Six of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles. They're very annoyed. They're very agitated. This person is missing you so much that they're honestly causing so much problems for everybody else around them. This person is going through text messages and looking at the messages uh, uh, and your photos as well, uh, but they are reminiscing and thinking about you quite a bit. They're just really unhappy at the moment because they left you maybe for somebody else, but, I mean, at the end of the day, they're, like, in their hidden feelings, they still love you very, very much, Virgos, right? Because of the sun card. So this person still loves you very much, but you guys... <laughs> 
I respect the darkness and the happiness too with the sun to the moon card. You don't have an issue being in the darkness. You don't have an issue being under the moonlight. You guys love being under the sun and you guys love being under the moon. They're saying that there is a portal that's going to be coming in, Virgos. Apparently, you guys are going to be able to utilize that energy and maybe even go through the portal. I do believe that you guys are about to walk in some sort of portal that's going to be happening with the sun card to the moon card. There is <sighs> there's a portal coming in. There's a portal coming in. Or you guys already walked through the portal. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was rude. <laughs> you, guys, <laughs> you guys already may have already walked through this portal. All right. Uh, from the month of July. But that portal was very, very significant for you guys. Uh, regardless of where goes this person is also. So if you guys need to check out the portals and the dates and the portals, you guys go, go on and Google that, all right? And, 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 and educate yourselves with portals. And But I do see that there is a portal here that came in in the month of July. Uh, and you guys may have literally went through it to heal yourselves and go towards things that make you much feel much more better. Also, Virgos, this person is going to find a way to reach back out to you guys again. They're coming towards you because they see you as somebody who is able to uh, shine their beautiful light upon their life. So this person is going to be taking their time. They're leaving everything behind that they had in the past here with the Six of Cups. And they're ready to make their way forward towards you guys now so that you are their happiness. They want to come back to you. This is who you are. This is what they want. They want the sun card because in the sun, you guys are the so happiness. And even in the dark, you're still so beautiful. So you guys have this beautiful, beautiful energy on you that no matter whether light day or night, you're absolutely fucking stunning at the end of the day. This person's going to be wanting to see you with the two of cups. Uh, I do believe you guys are going to end up meeting up with this person, having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with them. But your energy is going to be literally fire, Virgos. Literally fucking fire. Sassy with it the whole entire nine. Uh, Queen of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. This person's coming in to make a proposal to you, making an offer to you, maybe even asking you or telling you that they want to be married to you, engagement, and also letting you know that they want to be with having a boyfriend girlfriend relationship here at the same time. It could be a new person that's coming in for you guys. Uh, but your Pisces is calling judgment on the relationship between the two of you, uh, Virgos. They're saying they're seeing you as somebody who's very much so in their power in control of everything. Somebody here works a very, very successful job where they have a very successful entrepreneur business. It's saying that this person is always so busy. So even if you do feel really left out, you're gonna be wondering like what are you doing behind my back? Are you cheating on me? Are you lying to me? They're gonna end up getting scared and paranoid with the nine of wands like what are you doing because this person also has past trauma with the with the nine of wands energy so this person is going to be thinking like what are you doing at the office are you sleeping with your secretary I, like don't make problems for no fucking reason it's just because you got trauma and you got problems that you never healed from it doesn't give you the right to come after this emperor and make them feel it fucked up because you have insecurities within you if the boy dumb is fucking working left right and center all right, you don't have the right to stress them out while they're at work when they already have so much stress at work that they have to take care of. Somebody here is doing absolutely everything on their own. Nobody's fucking helping this person. They're too busy. Ten of Wands, King of Pentacles. They're very successful. They're an entrepreneur, businessman, businesswoman. Eventually, soon they will make time for you with the hangman. But that doesn't give you the right to fucking call them all day, all night on the phone. What are you doing? It's one o'clock. Are you on your lunch break? <laughs> Yo, this entrepreneur here, they don't get no lunch break. They eat and work, eat and work. That's how they be doing it. And sometimes they don't even have the opportunity to even fucking eat properly because that's how busy they are with the Ten of Wands. This is a very, very successful person that their work comes first because they created this business for themselves. Uh, and this, if you don't got your shit together and you're still childish and immature, you don't know how to speak properly and you're going to feel abandoned and left out by absolutely everything just because of some, you're going to accuse them of what, of what? Be happy this person has this type of mindset. Be happy that they're an entrepreneur. Be happy that they're busy, that they don't have time to be fucking linking up with stupid ass bitches or fucking fuck boys and they're wasting their fucking time in those areas. Be happy that this person has is so busy with, with ha keeping their fucking goals so focused that they do their work, they go straight home. Do their work, go straight home. Drink their coffee, go straight home. This is what this person right here is doing all the time. They're too busy. They don't have a fucking time for even a break. Ten of wands. Stop projecting your insecurities on this person because then you're going to make them feel fucked up and they're not going to want to fuck with you anymore because an emperor doesn't deal with people who are, who are childish and don't know how to communicate. 
they do with fucking grown ass men and grown ass women. This one here at the bottom of the deck, you got the queen, a, a, a page of wands. So Virgos, this person is going to be contacting you. This page of wands, I'm picking up the Pisces energy there. Uh, they're trying to find ways in everything just to have you in their life. All right. This person is very childish, very immature. They're always fighting all the time. Ah, oh, man, really childish fucking em energy for some of you guys here. It's just sad. Adults who are not healed yet. And, you know, it's... They're, they're saying, Virgos, I don't want to hurt you guys' feelings, but I'm going to tell you guys. It's not attractive. It's like a turnoff. That people can be at this age and still be acting like certain energies because they choose not to do the inner work on themselves. It's fucking a simple turnoff. You have to do better for yourselves, not for anybody else. You have to do better for yourselves. Heal yourselves. Tell yourselves that you love yourselves every day. You know, big yourself up. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong? Why? Why can't you do that? If you care about yourself enough and you love yourself enough, you'll fucking do it. Stop freaking self-sabotaging yourself and putting yourself in the position of freaking mental uh, victim mentality. Oh, they, if they did this to me, I wouldn't be like that. Listen, we've all been there. We've all done it, you know? <laughs> and we all got to get out of it one way or another. <laughs> you got to try, Virgos. Pisces, you too. You got to try, sweethearts. Nobody, no one's coming to save us out here, man. Nobody is. If you think someone's coming to fucking grab you by the hand and being like, yo, let me help you. It's not. It's not. Believe me. World, world doesn't have time. You got to do this all on your own. And maybe you'll be lucky enough to have one person to fucking support you. And when you do, make sure you freaking appreciate that person to a whole other level. All right, Virgos, this person is going to be reaching out to you with the magician to the five of swords. They're going to do everything they can to have you here. They don't want to, they're not going to let nobody uh, take you from them. If this person has to fight and beat people up, that's exactly what they're going to do. Five of wands and what in the full card, eight of swords. They need to be very much so careful with this energy right there because if they end up doing something like this, it could potentially put them in a position of jail time and I don't think they're going to fucking like that. This person wants to be with you so damn badly with the Ten of Pentacles, but they got to be a little bit more patient and like use their... Be a little bit more fucking open-minded as well and be very much so patient because I do see that this person needs a lot of healing and they allow their mind to overtake and put them in darkness on a whole other level. Somebody here suffers from blackouts as well they can black out very easily all right you guys got so much this person loves you excuse me this person loves you so much Virgo, that they don't want to lose you i think sometimes this person stresses about the fact that maybe you guys are maybe they're doing too much of the too much of the part of the relationship or there's too many people involved you know work for instance uh, other family members friends people are too much involved there's no reason why people know that much of your business ever ever never ever all right you got to put an end to that uh if there are more people involved it looks like it will end up coming to a complete ending especially if putting people are putting in their two cents with the three of pentacles it's like fuck off no one asked for your advice at the end of the day oh <laughs> king of wands all right sweeties you guys are going to be taking control and power over everything at this point meaning you're stepping into your confidence as well with the king of pentacles to the uh, king of wands to the knight of pentacles some of you guys might be in love with somebody from your workplace as well virgos please always be mindful that you don't put yourself in a position of the tennis horse or the death card that will cause you nothing but stress all right especially if it's a work employee and work love relationship um regardless though sweeties some of you guys may be walking away from your pisces because you're starting to see the truth for what it is and you feel like, like what the hell's the point of all this like i gave you my love i gave you everything and it was never good enough for you like what else like how much more do you want you're gonna slowly fucking walk away from this person like maybe even ghost them and sneak off in the middle of the night and literally run off to your nine of cups and move on with your life somebody here is really about to fucking make a big ass move virgos and dip from this person's life if they don't get their shit together there's going to be a huge breakup and a huge ending all in one like droop, bye like really fucking they said u-haul someone's going to grab themselves a u-haul truck j drop everything while maybe this person's at work or what and you guys are going to get the fucking shit out of there like you guys are not dealing with this crap type of crap not this type of five of swords eight of swords death card ten of swords it's too much too much mental pain, too much betrayal, too much hurt, too much inconsiderate energy too. 
Seven of Swords? For what, right? This person really thought that they can sneak off on you. you. Meanwhile, you're the one that's the Nine of Cups. You can have anybody in the world that you want, Virgos or Pisces. And this is the type of shit that they did behind your back? Okay. For that, you have the right to move on. Three of Wands, and that's karmic justice for what they've done. That cycle is going to be completed, and you guys are officially going to protect yourself and defend yourself now from this person. This person is going to try and come back towards you guys, but they're not going to be able to maybe find you either because you guys are going into hermit. But you guys are absolutely sad and heartbroken and definitely mourning this situation as well. There's going to be a Pisces here who's going to try and call you out or say something to you. With the Queen of Swords, maybe speak to you, Virgos as well. But you're not going to be the way this person is being. You're going to like be like, I'm healing. <laughs> I'm doing my thing. I'm healing, right? Yeah, Four of Swords. This person needs to be cautious with the things that they're saying, especially if this is you guys, Virgos, or your Pisces. You guys need to be more cautious with the way that you speak to your Virgo. This is Pisces energy. You need to be careful with the way that you speak to people. Somebody here is very fucking rude and disrespectful and very blunt, especially when they're sad or when they're mourning a situation. You need to be cautious with the four of swords. Just because you're thinking something doesn't mean you have to say it every single time. Uh, Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords, all right? This person, jail. Someone could end up saying going to jail if they're going to be threatening. Somebody's going to end up threatening you, Virgos, and they could have potentially put them in jail time. Yeah. It could. Somebody here is already in jail, Virgos, and you might may end up receiving a message that they're going to be about, they're about to be coming out with the Ace of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. You guys may end up actually being happy about it, and you will end up having to go there and go grab them and scoop them up. <sighs> Some of you guys may not know if you want to even be back with a person who might be in jail at the moment. Yeah, you might be a little bit indecisive. Do I? Should I? What do I do? Do I want to? Four of Pentacles. Some of you guys may want to hold yourselves back because it's been maybe a while. Maybe someone's been in for a good, like, four years. Um, yeah, someone's been in for a good four years, Virgos. Um, yeah. But at the end of the day, you guys will end up maybe going and getting them at the end of the day, Virgos. But regardless, though, this person is trying to make a decision next all right, this person's trying to make a decision with the Seven of Cups to the Cherry card on how it is that they want to come back towards you. They want to work on this relationship, so they're going to stand in their power, and they decided to choose, but for whatever reason, this person is becoming more and more so obsessed with you with the Devil card, Queen of Cups. They're seeing how that you're such a very loving and beautiful person, so they want to make this offer towards you. They want to apologize to you, too. This person has Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their chart, Virgos. This Pisces, they got air energy in their chart. And they also have Capricorn in their chart. Yeah. There's a Pisces who has air energy in their chart or Capricorn. Or this could be you guys, Virgos. But, I mean, at the end of the day, they're coming in with communication. They want to speak to you. Uh, they are pretty obsessed with you, too, because they see you as the Empress uh, as well. They see you as the Empress of the Queen of Cups. They see you as a very beautiful, loving, nurturing, intuitive, kind, caring person. And this person's coming in to explain that to you. So they're coming in to let you know, hey... Can I? Can I be with you? Well, if they're this fucked up with the with the devil card. Hey, just be careful if you guys are going to give them the plumes, Virgos, with the lover's card. Because if they're already obsessed with you now and maybe you didn't do anything with them, imagine how much more they're going to be obsessed with you with the lover's card. This person is absolutely infatuated with your beauty. You are absolutely stunning, Virgos. Uh, they're telling me with the devil card, even if they do have some sort of addiction. Somebody here might be having a drinking addiction. Are they always drinking? They always got a drink in their hand. Uh, somebody also is always drinking at nighttime, two Virgos. Um, but at the end of the day, you guys are always going to be in your Empress energy. So well, it doesn't phase you, whatever. Regardless, though, this person's in love with you. They're in love with your beauty. You're stunning. You're gorgeous. You're handsome. And they simply want to be with you. This You guys, if you guys were to sleep with this person, it would be absolutely uh, lit. <laughs> Thanks, cuties. Bye.